I don't know what's going on with this doll. Who's, who's young child is this? How's it going everyone? Welcome back to Plants Plays and today we're checking out old school horror game Bright Day. Uh, it's a game that pines for the horror games of 10 years ago, so 2009. Uh, back then we had Resident Evil 5, Silent Hill Shattered Memories, and Fear 2. So I hope it would play off of one of those. I mean, they're good games. And uh, it, uh, this, this is, this is Slenderman. This, this is just straight up Slenderman. Oh boy. Mm-hmm. Okay, cool. So, yeah, Slenderman came out in 2009, I guess, or 10 years ago. So, I, I, I feel like we don't need a resurgence of Slenderman, really. It's one of those games where it's been around for a while and there's been a bajillion clones and even a full-fledged game based upon them, Slender the Arrival, which was actually a pretty good game. I don't know if we really needed yet another Slender-style game, but I, I guess we'll take a look at it. Hello. Hi. Hello. I, I saw you there. Okay. Right off the bat, we do have some creepy things happening. Which is always nice. What are we trying to collect, though? The thing, the thing had glowing red eyes. Never a good sign if your thing has glowing red eyes. Okay. This room is pretty barren, and I cannot jump. So, I'm pretty much just screwed if something finds me. There's nothing in the bathroom. All right, cool. Well, this is this is a great start. We haven't found anything yet. And can you go in here? Anything in here? I open doors. F E J G enter. Enter key, no. Alright, cool. Can't open doors either. I guess there would be nothing in there that means, I hope, at least. Otherwise you made a broken game. And there's puddles? Very dark puddles. Almost like it's like oil. Someone changing their oil out here? Someone working on their car? Someone trying to keep their car maintenance standard? Let's go this way. Uh, I think that would just lead me back to my, the other area, so let's go this way. Uh, it looks like we're gonna just kind of follow lights. These overhead lamps, which seem extremely tall for some reason. Either we're very short or they're very tall. Or both. Could be both, actually, now that I think about it. Oh, okay. She's chasing me now. Oh. Oh, she's fast. Your axe didn't even hit me. She didn't even hit me. She has, like, a really long reach, apparently. And this is a very long, dark screen. Okay, cool. So we're back here now. Let's go ahead and hit play again. Taking a, there you go. I was gonna say it's taking a while to load, but it's not. All right, may, maybe we can get a better a better thing. There we go. There we go. We found something. It's a doll. We found a doll. I have picked up a doll. Okay. I guess we will follow the path again. See what we find. I mean, she killed me. I didn't even find anything of hers yet. I didn't even find any of these dolls yet. Although, she also saw me in the woods here and didn't care. Which was very weird. Huh. Okay. Now I'm like, I want to look around all the time and see if there's anything behind me in front. Oh, another doll. That's good. Okay, cool. We made, we found a lot, but we we're doing a lot better right now. What is that? What is that? What is that? I hear footsteps. Oh, whoa. Okay. Uh, there's a little doll running after me. I don't. I don't know what's going on with this thing. I don't know what's going on with this doll. Who's, who's young child is this? Who's spunky babby boy is this? Okay, I thought I saw the white reflection and I thought that was the, was the monster thingy. Not quite a monster, okay. I did think I see something, saw something there though. It's still following me. Why is it following, what is this? What the hell is this game? Okay, Slenderman did not have any any chasing dolls. At least as far as I remember. It's still, it's still going. It's got Energizer in it. It ain't gonna stop for nothing. 
Where am I now? I'm at like a train depot, it looks like. Anything around here I can pick up though? Do we have a doll? So can I pick up the can I pick this doll up? I kinda wanna let it I wanna see what happens. It, it just vanished. And the base got very heavy. What the hell is going on? Oh, oh okay, there she is. Uh and I'm running. And I'm running. Oh god, I think she's faster than I am. Sounds like she might be faster than me. Yeah, she is. Oh no, that's not good. I'm just gonna run and try to lose her in the trees. I don't know if maybe I can get her like caught on something. I hope at least. And then, okay, she stopped. Yeah, I stopped hearing running. Good, 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 good. Where am I? Oh, I just found a path. I guess I'll just follow the path to this light. I have three dolls. I wish I could find more. Okay, never mind. Not following the path. Go in the opposite direction on the path. Path was a bad idea. Oh god, she's just tearing after me. What is she wearing? She looks like Flo from Progressive. Very weird, but with glowing red eyes. I don't remember Flo ever having glowing red eyes. She may have in some Halloween commercial. Uh... Okay, she's still following me. Oh, that's not good. Oh, that's not good. I'm running on train tracks, which I think makes me slower, actually. Where am I? I'm in a, a divot. Oh, God, she's fast. Okay, we found the end of the world. This isn't good. Okay, let's embrace death run. Hello! Okay. Oh, boy. Oh boy. Is... Is a game? I, I, it's definitely a game. I am playing something. It's an, I don't know about old school horror game. When I think old school horror, I think like... Oof, like, you know... Old, like, not... Not 2009. I think like... 1994, Phantasmagoria. Um, Harvester, stuff like that. Or they try to like they try to push the limits on what they could get away with. Oh, there's a the doll. Oh, I almost missed that one. Boink. Got one of seven. Take that. We're gonna collect all your dolls and we're never gonna give them back. Or we will. I don't know the story of this game. I don't know if she's trying to get her dolls back from us or what, but I don't know if she knows the story of this game. I think she's just a crazy a crazy lady in the woods who's trying to take a swing at anyone who comes by. And just randomly apparently teleports to areas. Which can be a problem, I would think. Uh, anything in here? No. Let's go this way. I mean, the, that's the thing with these kinds of games, is that you just have to learn the map. Slender, Slenderman wasn't hard once you played it a few times and you're like, oh, okay, I know where it's likely to be. This is just, like, the first playthrough, it's like, oh, whoa. I'm lost. It's like you gotta start plotting that map out in your head. I don't see any other dolls around here. I can't, I don't think they'll be in that building. Around back, no, okay. Well, we'll follow the path back down to the train station. The train depot. That's what it is, it's the train depot. That's where they store the trains themselves at. The train station for people board the train. Welcome to, to train conduction with flames. Uh, uh, Thomas the Tank Engine was a pretty good tr good train, I think. Uh, actually, didn't watch much Thomas the Tank Engine as a kid. It was more of a more of a Between the Lions kid. Actually, no, I think Between the Lions was actually older than I was, or young is old, like way younger than I was. Because or I am. I think my sister watched Between the Lions and uh, Dragon Tales and stuff like that. And I just kind of absorbed it through her. They were actually, they were actually pretty good good, uh, good children's entertainment, I think. It was nice to encourage kids to read. And at the time, I was reading a buttload. Oh, oh. And a buttload is an actual unit, unit of measure. It's actually a, a, just a butt. But. A butt, butt. Alrighty, I'm just kind of lost now. 
I don't remember where exactly I came in at. Do do. Anything in the creepy van? Nothing on the creepy van. Anything around the back of the building? Nothing around the back of the building. Trash can? Nope, nothing here. Okay. Well, I guess we're just going to continue on to this area. Can I sneak through here? Yes, I can. Good. Oh, there you go. Baby. We got ourselves a baby. Press F to take the... Oh, we got it. Is that her? Is that her there? No, it's a pillar. Okay, cool. Well, I guess we're going to go this way. Um... I'm wondering if that that baby happens every time you grab the second doll. Because if so, we should have a little little doll running after us in just a moment. Oh, I mean, I went the wrong way. Oh, we can loop this way then. I'm just expecting her to show up soon. It seems like that's the most likely thing to happen. It's just going to teleport in front of me. What the hell? She was on top of a pillar? Or something? Oh. Oh. I'm lost. I, I got away from the path. Oh, I want to go this way. Jeez. I'm like all kinds of confused right now. So yeah, she was standing up there. And then I guess the, the, the doll showed up on me? I guess the doll showed up and it caused her to vanish? Can't go that way. Maybe, maybe the running dolls are helping me, actually. It's possible. If the running doll is actually what's co what causes her to vanish, and I kind of just want to outrun the doll until she's close to me, and then I can hit the doll, she screams and vanishes. But I saw something that way in the woods. What is that? Oh. Okay. She jumped right over me. Okay, she she wasn't running, and I saw it. I was just like, "What's that white thing in the woods?" Walked over. There she was. Oh boy. Okay. This has been old school horror game bright day. Um, my opinions on it not worth your time. Uh, it's a slender co clone with no real interesting things aside from I, I don't know the the doll that chases after you. What was that about? The instructions really didn't say anything from what I remember. But if you like this video, let me know in the comments down below. Give me a thumbs up. I really do appreciate it. And uh, make sure to subscribe so you get updates for nice new content or go live while live streaming. And as always, have a great day. Remember to burn bright. I'll talk to y'all later. Bye. Thank you very much for my Patreon supporters down below. I just want to say thank you again for the continued support. And if you enjoy the content and you want to see your name down here, there's links down below to both my Patreon as well as my Twitter. And if you can just show some support by subscribing, I really appreciate that. Have a great day. Remember to burn bright.